Good afternoon, YouTubers. Yesterday morning, the first thing I did was go to the junkyard, and uh, I had some scrap metal, and I went by my church and picked up some scrap metal there. They had a sign that was all smashed up, and uh, I don't know the snowplow hit it or what, but I got a hammer and hammered that out. And then I went to that yard sale and showed yesterday's haul. But now this haul is from this morning, and I went back to that same same sale as soon as it opened, and I dropped 118 bucks there. And I had this truck jammed. I had stuff in the in the front seat. I this back had two shelves stacked flat on each other and one standing on end. I got these uh, tomato cages out of the garden shed for a couple bucks. And when you know that how the Lord works, this is the exact same same post that got bent up and mangled. And I took one similar to that to the junkyard or the scrapyard. Got this rake, all the fingers are good on it. That's three bucks. I don't sew, but my daughter does. And I'm sure the people that sew know the value of that. And as I was unloading this from the front door, I dropped it on the ground and they, they started rolling down the driveway. In the basement, they had all these exercise bands. The whole, the whole thing here was a couple of bucks. This was in a kitchen for, it had a sticker on it for 75. Meatball maker. I think I bought the handle that goes with this thing the other day. But there's a whole series of blades in here. You woodworkers, I don't know if I can get that open. You woodworkers know what those things cost. Stainless something, stainless. There were three bunches of these. The guy charged me a buck a piece. And these are about two bucks for each individual. So the Lord has really blessed me. And I had to make some room in my old garage also known as my warehouse. I got rid of my snow blowers to some kid that he wanted my lawnmower, but he didn't, he wasn't gonna get that. And those one snow blower needed uh, belts and it ran fine. All right, let me see here now. I got this broom out of the, the garden shed. I got this long handle shovel. That was in that thing. What else do I get? Oh, I used this to get the tomato racks out of the rafters. They were like up in the ceiling and I, I used this to reach them down. I didn't really want to buy that. I, you know, brought it out front with the stuff and okay, I get went on the price. I was trying to load the stuff up fast. I got this plastic folding ladder. Costco, five bucks, three steps and a tray designed to hold your paint can. That's Nobel Prize engineer. I got three of these baker racks. 20 bucks a piece, that's a steal. I think these are over a hundred bucks or more in the industrial catalog. I got this smaller version that stacks, there's two pieces to that. I got this squeegee. I can hang out at corners and with a bucket of water and clean people's windshield. I got a bone saw if I wanna Chop up any newsmen. Hardware, hardware up the wazoo. I got bolts. I got screws. 
I don't think I got screwed on this steel. Though. I got pegboard hooks. Can of rust oleum. I'm not sure how that's any good, but that's the kind of stuff I go for. Old time C clamp. Super clamp. Made in the USA. Assortment of screwdrivers. I went back to the hardware section in the garage, some tap or easy outs, some drills, some bale and wire, little, little razor thing, assortment of screwdrivers, a wood mallet. was in the basement. I already have one of these. Or something similar to that. Those of you that have one, the magic Nutribullet. That's a sweet machine. A bench brush. An extension cord. 25 cents for clamps or a buck for the tray. And this one's got a magnet on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that home and stick that on my refrigerator. That's some old time junk wrench. This lady that passed away was 76 years old and she had one, one impressive garden. Whoa, what I got down here? I got a free bucket in there. They threw that in there so I could, I could carry some of this junk away. Two cycle engine oil, that's about, got a couple quarts in there. Man, this is a nice one. An exploration ha hammer. I could go cl mountain climbing and prospecting or spelunking. Old time hammer axe, three bucks. Oh, this is a kind of a, I don't have one of these, but this has got to be real, real old school, a rawhide mallet. What else do I got? Oh, okay, I forgot this thing up here, this other plastic shelf stacking, you know, and it's got, I put the plastic legs in here. So that, those are easy to assemble and move. And the guy gave me a hand carrying these out of the basement. Is there a neat house with well, well, well organized and, uh, you know, very clean stuff. And that's at uh, 27 Gale Road in Lancaster, New York, for anybody in town that's watching my videos. They're having the sale tomorrow from 9 to 3. And I'm going to find out what day garbage day is in the neighborhood. And I'm going to go cruising down that street, and I'll be... I'll be there with my radar detectors on. God bless the YouTubers. I gotta walk my dogs. And I know you wanna see my dogs. I know you wanna see my dogs. Well, that's funny how the Lord works. Church, church sign got destroyed and I have to find a, a signpost to repair it. I'll see my buddy there Monday. Smile, smile for the camera. Who loves you, baby? Who loves you, baby? Who loves you? No, not smiling. God bless the YouTubers.